Hey everybody, that Pug here, coming back to The Legend of Zelda. Now, last time we beat uh, Dungeon 1 and Dungeon 2, and attempted Dungeon 3 in the middle of them and failed terribly because of the Dark Nuts. This time, before going back to Dungeon 3 to not waste bombs, but to get revenge on those Dark Nuts with the new White Sword, what we're going to do is a little bit of a collection, and uh, get some of the heart containers and stuff that I missed, and hopefully be better prepared for the oncoming battle. Now, let's start by getting my health up a bit. Ow. Come on. Fight me. So, uh, first heart container, to my knowledge, is off to the right here. We walked past it last time, just before coming up to the item shop that had some arrows in. However, we're not going to go there to get said ar our arrows, because they're a bit overpriced there, in relation to where else we can get them. And these guys are trying to sneak up behind me. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come up here, and about there, place a bomb. And there is your cave. And... Take anyone you want. Well, I want more health. Because I don't want to die before going back out to the Zola. Uh, I think I want to go up into the woods above me. I do. Let's quickly run and hope for the best. And kill some moblins. Oh, that's an ultra rock. No, bad ultra rock. So yes, as you can see, the White Sword is a lot more powerful, killing many things in one hit, instead of two or three. Let's have a think. I think it's up, and then to the side. I'm also already about to die, I want to go up to the top bit, not to the bottom bit. Because I want to go over to the right and that one. Please, nothing spawned here. Oh, that's not helpful. Go. Come on. All the way up. All the way up. One, you two, all the way up, all the way up, yeah. Give me three hearts. Now, next, I think I just want to run across here. Oh wait, don't. Okay, this was the wrong way. However, there is a cave, so I'm gonna have a quick jump in here. Uh, I don't want anything from you. Oh, there's the bomb. Waste at the beginning. I'm gonna no kill some stuff. Hopefully not die. Oh no, I'm worried. I don't want to die. Three hearts again. Come on. No, how do I lose a heart? I walked into behind him. Um. Okay, that's that's not waste anything else. I'm just gonna quickly power through it as fast as possible. This is not where I want to be. Oh dear. Oh god, I'm very lost. What am I? Oh, uh, I mean I am, but... 10 rupees isn't too bad, all things considered. And I'm dead. Should have taken the potion, no I should not. Okay, uh, continue. So, yeah, okay. Let's try this again. I've got the 10 rupees, so I don't need to go back down into that basement bit, so instead of going straight across, I'm going to go up. I'm going to dodge a bunch of these arrows. I'm going to lose one of my hearts, because I'm an idiot. And sneak up, sneak up on you. And sneak up on you. And sneak up on you and get some more bombs, which I can only hold 8 of. I was correct in that last time. So I want to keep going up there. It's the coin spot from last time. Oh, wait, while we're here, we're going back to Dungeon 2. And quickly annihilate some stuff. Oh, D pad. Now I've got two hearts. Stupid fighting system. Okay. 
So which room was it in? It was either this room, which I don't think it was. It might have been. No, it wasn't this room. However, there is ropes, so it's easy health. Or easy money, as it be. Uh, let's have a look. What else do I want to do? Oh, wait, no, it's this room. Okay. This is not what I wanted from this. This is a this is a great disturbance. Uh nope. I am rather lost as to what room it was. Um Really? So far it's none of these rooms. This room with the fireballs. Okay, so I've learned I am actually safe here, however, until I take a step like that. Oh, no, I still can't use any items, that's okay. Ideally, I'd have full health so I can kill them quicker, but run. Boom, magic boomerang. Okay, now I can leave. So, this boomerang is an upgrade on the previous one. Instead of just going half the room, it goes the whole room until it hits something and then comes back to me. Which is a much more helpful improvement over the original boomerang. Come on, give me some health. Or give me some rupees. You know what's fine. I'm going to be doing some purchasing soon. Uh, so I will meet you back outside the dungeon. Okay, now back over here. Uh, we're going to go up a couple towards a very specific spot where I can grab some more stuff, hopefully. So now that I've been here, I would say this wall looks a bit suspicious here. I need to put my bombs back on. This bit of wall looks a bit suspicious. Or I thought it did. Ah, there we go. Get me some more rupees. Please, 30. And then, I do hope that over here, this rock also looks very suspicious. But again, you know, I could always be wrong. No? Aha. Okay, I wasn't wrong. I also need my boomerang. I want this one. Now, while we are at this point in the world, we're also going to be doing a little bit of a side quest as such. And we're going to make our lives a lot easier with health-wise. And instead of having the choice of a heart container and a potion, we're going to open a potion shop which involves going over this way all the way over, ignoring absolutely everything uh, actually, I have may have gone the wrong way however, there is a secret path up here although I think this is a dungeon, not oh no, this is a secret ruby how many is it? a hundred, perfect now, we are going to be doing all of this sort of side questing stuff on our way to the third dungeon, it is for, for a reason, and that is I suck at fighting dark nuts. So I want to be as prepared as possible. And apparently I suck at fighting tactics as well. There we go. Now we're gonna go up here and speak it to you in here. Show this to the old woman. Now I think this is to the one that doesn't speak. The old soulless woman who just stares into the abyss. Okay, now while we are truly making our way back now, I'm gonna get the last couple of pieces out of the way, which involves going over here a couple times.
uh, ignoring everything along this path, except that heart, avoiding the pea hats, hoping I don't get lost in the eternal sandiness that is this area, uh, may get some hearts if possible. Uh, I don't actually know what these are called. I think they're called sand traps. I could be wrong. Oof. That could just be the Pokemon. Oof. Um, come at me. No, don't hide. Fight me. And apparently not drop anything. You're so helpful. So, so helpful. So, so very helpful. Okay, that's just a bunch of money. There was no hearts or anything. What a shame. Now, we can burn this top. Nope! Bush. Or we can fail at burning the top bush and have to leave the area and come back to be able to do so. Let's go down and then up. I'm pretty sure you can burn the top bush at least. Nope! Might be the bottom bush. You know what? I have the money. I'm not gonna waste any more time. Maybe kill some stuff. Okay, and then it's like this one. Nope. Nope. Okay. Leave. Come back. Might is it like the fourth one along? So I swear it's like the f fourth, fifth one along. Nope. Fifth one along. Fifth one along. Must be the fifth one along. I must have done the sixth and the fourth, so. This one. There we go. Get me some more health. And run over here. Oh, I forgot to go to the shop to get the arrows. Um. So what I'll have to do is go back because I missed a shop and I'll go to the specific shop that gives you the cheapest arrows as well. But I'll just have to do a loop back round very quickly. Nope! Oh, I need the candle, damn it. Stupid blue candle only having one light per use. Or one light per screen, there we go. Now from you, I want the this is the magic shield, which is bigger. However, if you come across like likes, they can steal it, and you have to go buy a new one. You can't kill them and get it back like in other games. Okay, so I've got to quickly run back over several times till I see water, and run up. Oh, I left the heart. And I think that that is the shop there that gives you the cheap arrows. That or it's just the same price and I should have bought them from the original shop. Oh well. It doesn't matter now. But now that I've bought the arrows, I actually have the bow and arrow and I can kill stuff with much ease. Especially knowing that I can easily just get more money and use more arrows. However, I still don't want to waste them too much just in case that I lose money at any other point. But now, we can head back over this way towards the old woman. Oh, I'll take that. And we're back at full health. This is, oh, this is beautiful. We're now on a true roll of power. We are getting truly into where we need to be. Okay, now just a couple more screens over. South of us is Spawn. I'm gonna go over here. And we wanna make it across the bridge. And up into this cave. 
is a sweet old lady who stares into your soul endlessly, who we can give a... Oh, no, I want to do this. And give the lads to you. Now, buy medicine before you go. I don't remember which one is better. So, blue or red? Interesting choice. Hmm. I think we will go for the red medicine, because it's more expensive, so surely it'll be better. So we will quickly avoid everything and run down here. And now that we are back at this fateful dungeon, next time on Legend of Zelda, we will be reclaiming our dignity and beating Dungeon Free. I'll see you then. <laughs>